When we implement algorithms inside of coding questions, we often realize that a hash map is one of the most efficient ways to get something done. But why are hash maps so efficient? With an average constant time with searching, deleting, and looking up, we as developers often forget why they're efficient and move on with our lives. Today we're going to go ahead and explore the level of abstraction that's been given to us to help boost our understanding and knowledge of computer science. To understand what I'm trying to explain, be sure to have these prerequisites of memory management, knowing what a linked list is, because that's going to tie in with memory management, some high school math, and when I mean high school math, just how functions work, as well as the basic knowledge of hash maps. This way you can help understand what I'm doing. One thing to keep in mind regarding constant time complexity is that it doesn't only occur inside of maps. It also occurs inside of the basic data structure of an array. For example, if I go ahead and index the array at index 1, I'll go ahead and return the value of 2 at a constant time, meaning that the time will always be the same regardless of the size of the input. The way hash maps work is that they allow you to assign a key to a specific value. For example, I can go ahead and assign my name to my age. So what happens under the hood is that there's an array allocated of a specific size. Let's suppose that the size of our array is 10. Since our key value is a string, you're going to want to go ahead and convert that into an integer using the ASCII values. So 200 isn't the actual ASCII value, I just wrote it in there for the sake of you know explaining it. The next thing you will want to do is go ahead and hash that value using the hashing function, and let's suppose that gives you the value of 42. The next thing you do is you go ahead, take that value, and mod it by the size of our array. That value will simply be the index of our array, and then we can index that using an O of 1 time complexity, therefore making it the most efficient possible solution. Let's suppose your hash value returns out two numbers that have the same remainder, and this is called a collision. In this scenario, what's happening is that you have two values that are going into the same memory address. How do we address this problem? Now, what you do is you take a linked list and you go to that certain memory address and you point it to the first value and then point it to the second value. So if you ever need to go ahead and search up this value, what you're gonna do is you're gonna traverse through that one array index via a linked list. And the time complexity is actually just gonna be O of N, which is N being the number of uh, nodes that are connected together. Now, sometimes when it gets too weighted out, what you're going to notice is that your link, your hash table will become rehashed, so it'll become bigger in size. That's why this happens very rarely and isn't something you need to too much worry about, as you have more experienced computer scientists that have written out these functions for you already. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.